Hello, I'm Tara Kite, and this is a review of the first episode of the 2019 version of Fruit Baskets. One thing I really love about anime is its ability to take a premise that should be a tragedy and turn it into something fluffy and heartwarming, at least part of the time. Fruit's Basket is the story of Toru Honda, a high school girl whose father died when she was three and whose mother was recently killed in an accident. It seems no one in her extended family truly wanted her, so she ended up with her grandfather. Only now her grandfather is moving out of his house so that it can be renovated, and asked Toro if maybe she has some friends that she can stay with over the duration. Although friendly and seemingly outgoing, Toro only really seems to have two people in her life that she can call friends, and she knew that neither of them would be able to house her for months. Not wanting to impose though, she lies to her grandfather about having a place to stay, and is consequently now living in a small tent in the forest, with her only company being a portrait of her dead mother. Even with a premise like that, Fruit Basket still manages to have an awfully light-hearted tone to it, and it can be something comfy to watch. At least, that's true some of the time. The 2001 anime adaptation never shied away from the darker aspects of its premise. It just didn't choose to make those the driving force. And the first episode of the 2019 anime seems to be following in its predecessor's footsteps. Following in its footsteps is the perfect way to describe episode one. If you've seen the first episode of the 2001 anime, then you've basically seen this episode too. It has to have been over a decade since I last watched Fruit Baskets, but I was still able to anticipate every story beat from episode 1 of the 2019 version just based off of my memory. That might sound like a problem for returning viewers, but I don't see it as a big one. For one thing, while this first episode might be retreading familiar ground, it's ground that fans of the series will likely enjoy visiting again with the higher production values of a modern anime. It's also something that returning fans will likely be understanding of, because while the 2019 anime has a lot of room to deviate from its predecessor as it goes on, it first needed to establish the familiar foundation, which is what this first episode is all about. For people not familiar with Fruit Baskets at all, this is one of the classics, and now that it's being remade, this is the perfect opportunity to give it a shot. While I focused on talking about the heroine here, you'll also be treated to a large and interesting cast of characters based on the Chinese Zodiac. Like Toro, they have their own burdens to deal with, and that adds layers of depth behind the show's bright exterior. I'm looking forward to seeing more of this show, and I hope that people unfamiliar with Fruits Baskets give Episode 1 a chance to get a taste of what the fuss is all about.